This is just a final overview of the flow of information through the models and scheduling module in Timer Pro. We saw the source document was either the Timer Pro documents in the Amazumi charts by model and with all the possible options. We've also got an option out here to load that information directly from Excel. That will be covered in one final video here. Um, then, then after we've got each of the processes, we combine all the models that are going down a line into a single working file. We input a tag time. Of course, you can change that at any time and recalculate everything here. We then imported the schedule coming from the corporate ERP via Excel into Timer Pro. Once the schedule was imported, a automatic process was initiated that basically looked to identify where, when, and what work content and at what station would exceed the target tag times. And this generated a Yamazumi chart where you could move around and see the flow of the schedule down through the line. Over here in the right here, if I scroll down a little bit here, we then generated an Excel issue report that highlighted to you where all the issues were with the current schedule and builds for offline review. Then if action was required, you can go back in here. You could select which ones you want to review and you can isolate the issues in Timer Pro and you can update the issues as you make improvement suggestions using the Timer Pro standard features. And we generated a summary report at the bottom here of the changes so you can show it to the people on the floor. And that would feed back then into the Yamazumi chart to look at additional issues. And this is a detailed flow chart. Here is a generic overview again. So again, you've got the schedule coming from your corporate ERP into the production schedule by model with option combinations. We have all the individual processes either developed within Timer Pro or loaded via Excel. Again, all the options are the ones in blue here. And then depending upon the options that are called for in the builds, we generated the actual work content by production build sequence. And this was displayed to you inside Timer Pro. And from there, we got the Excel issue report and then you could take the proactive actions to eliminate the issues before the production starts.